Hi, welcome back to Keep It Dirty, a podcast where my guests share their life living functionally and sustainably, and the why behind their experiences navigating through our ever-changing environment. I am your host, Leslie Dowling. I'm a corporate speaker sharing how one can jumpstart your path to increased revenue and productivity through restorative health techniques. And today, it is my pleasure to um, introduce uh, Christy uh, Colilius. Uh, she has uh, she and her actual mother um, are the founders of an all natural skincare pr- uh, handmade with love products um, founded in New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it is such a pleasure to have you today. And maybe you could give a little background about your business, about the products and your passion and drive as to why you started this. Sure, so um, my mom and I started the uh, our, our company uh, called Astara with an E, E-S-T-A-R-A, uh, back in February of 2023. Um, although we are new to the formal public, we've been doing this for quite some time. So uh, our products and our crafting in the kitchen uh, and our home lab is nothing new to us. Um, We've been doing this again for quite some time. Um, We are quite a small, modest company, as you can imagine. Again, we just started. So uh, we only have 10 products in our line uh, that consist of uh, two soap bars, uh, three aroma oils, which uh, sort of act like as perfume roller balls. Um, we have two lip balms, uh, body butter, a face serum, and a body oil. I believe that's it. I think that equals the 10. So, and hopefully more to come at some point this year, Uh, the year technically only just started. So, um, and as for our passion, why we started this, again, we've been doing this for a very long time. So it only made sense to us as the next step to why not introduce, or uh, should I say share our passion uh, for making, um, all natural skincare products with the public. And so it's kind of an experiment and we're sort of seeing, you know, uh, you know, where this takes us. So. Yeah. And I, I, I really, well, we actually met at New York now. Yeah. It's a trade show at the Javits center, obviously in New York. And um, I was just drawn to your booth, not only the presentation, the logo, but the quality of the products. And you had some samples. Mm -hmm. Um, And it really, I mean, all day, I just kept touching my hand and saying, I can't believe how soft my hand is. And and I've tried a lot of products, but Mm -hmm. I'm just a huge advocate in skincare that is clean because our skin is the largest organ and we're ingesting sometimes toxins that we're not even aware of. So not only are we eating things that might be non-organic, but the lotions that we're putting on our skin, it's so important to just be an advocate, read the labels. Um, And so was this something as as a child that your family was really health conscious or wanted to really look for clean products? We... I guess this craft has always sort of been, um, if not in the forefront, in the background of my childhood. So we've always uh, been making stuff at home, uh, different sort of remedies. uh, And that's not only um, uh, for skincare, it's, you know, for if you have an ear infection, if you feel a cold coming on, um, there was always something at home that we would uh, have in our pantry that we had made maybe months prior that we would take, um, instead of calling the doctor, you know, if, again, if it wasn't an emergency, um, so making stuff at home with our own hands, uh, has been, you know, for as long as I can remember has been, uh, always existent in my, my family in my childhood growing up. So, um, it was only, I want to say, until maybe the last decade or so that we really started to bring that practice out of the background and into the forefront, into the spotlight of our sort of our routine, our lifestyle, um, sort of eliminating um 
not just, you know, unclean uh, skin products or soaps and stuff, but, you know, also what we eat and what we drinking and uh, what we're drinking from and all that stuff, because it's hard to only be interested in clean skin and, or should I say, be interested in only uh, what we're putting on our skin and not interested in what we're consuming uh, food wise or uh, beverage wise. Um, this, the two kind of overlap, um, not to make a big generalization of, but I find more often than not people who are interested in, you know, they're be, having skin, clean skincare products are also uh, interested in, you know, what they're eating. And so that sort of all blended together, uh, I would say last the last decade or so. And that's when we really started to craft up our own uh, recipes for uh, different, uh, you know, face moisturizers, um, hand creams, uh, soaps of all kinds, you know, our soaps that we have, we have two soaps um, listed on our website, and those can be used for pretty much anything, you know, uh, hands, body, uh, face. So um, I did Growing up, I did have issues with my skin, I have a very sensitive skin, and uh, always some sort of dermatological issues that I had. And I would go to countless, I can't even count on both of my hands how many dermatologists I've been to with my, you know, various skin issues, um, hoping to receive some sort of um, alleviant from them. And every everything that was prescribed to me would open up a different issue so it was that i i can't even recall i want to say a little less than a decade ago i sort of stopped all that uh cold turkey and just educated myself both my, both my mom and i uh take classes um how to make soaps um how to uh perfect our skincare recipes um and domino affected until you know here i am today talking to you about uh our, our skincare line so yeah those were the natural occurrence of events <laughs> yeah i love that i think we all have some sort of story as to why we're doing what we're doing today um and and i love the interplay of the fact that most people that are conscious of what they're putting in their mouth ingesting are very also conscious and educated about wanting to take it to the next level of what are we putting on our skin topically. And what's really cool is the people are so much more well-versed because they could Google such wealth of information, which when I was in my twenties, they didn't have this. I mean, who would ever even think of a website? Somebody asked me, Oh, would you like to create a website for you and your mom's business? And we thought, nobody's ever going to look at a website. So <clears throat> we've come such a full circle. And, um, and I think also what I love to hear is the fact that I know my grandmother was born and raised in Italy. So we're first generation and all of the things, the tinctures and the, um, uh, the remedies that they used on their farm was from what mother earth provided and the beautiful thing, it's kind of trickled to the next generation, me, then to my children that incorporate that into practice, just like a simple thing of lemon water in the morning. It's like an astringent. It kind of alkalizes you. It it kind of restores and replenishes your gut. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so maybe you could share with me, I mean, from, I ask everybody and I'll ask you this, like, who was your role model growing up or what was it? Was it, I guess, just using natural remedies that kind of interplayed in what you're doing today? Uh, I can't, th I can't just, you know, credit that to one person, but I think growing up the way I did, um, my, both my parents were born in Albania. So, um, as a first generation American, I would, uh, you know, it's, I still have um, even though I was born and raised in New York, uh, here in the States, you know, I still have a sprinkle, a hint of that, you know, a whiff, if you will, of, uh, their, I won't say their culture because their culture is my culture, but, um, I guess you could say their lifestyle there, the way they grew up. Um, I did 
you know, in my childhood, I would spend uh, all summer long out there after school was out in June, we would spend all summer uh, overseas in Albania on the farm, uh, which is again, uh, on my mother's farm, uh, which is where, you know, she grew up. And, um, you know, you had, you had to rely on the land because uh, there were no doctors nearby. And if they were, um, you know, maybe the medicine was too costly for some. So people found a way to make do with what they had and uh, learn about the, uh, their, you know, flora and fauna nearby. And again, experiment with what worked. And eventually, you know, that recipe, uh, ended up in my grandmother's hands and then my mother's hands. And then I grew up with it here in New York. So um, I think having, having that uh, experience from my childhood, I think uh, subconsciously maybe even uh, played a huge part in us bringing this company to life um, and sharing that with everyone. So that I would credit not so much to a person, because I guess everybody's involved in that, but uh, to more so an experience or experiences from my childhood. Yeah. And are there herbs or um, things that you have imported from Albania that you use in your products? So we do, uh, we, in one of, myrtle is big where, uh, myrtle, um, not crepe myrtle, um, common myrtle, I believe is, is big where my, uh, my mother is from. And, um, the thing is, as much as we would like to use the, uh, the herbs and the plants that grow where, you know, in that section of Albania, where my mom's from, uh, the weather doesn't really permit that here in New York. Uh, a lot of, a lot of the plants that grow in Albania are similar to, um, they would need like California, like weather, uh, that dry sort of Mediterranean climate. And, um, we have tried though. <laughs> I will, I, I will say that, uh, we do whatever we cannot, um, grow successfully here. Um, we do try to find suppliers and sources, uh, sustainable suppliers and sources that, uh, we can purchase maybe essential oils from, um, we do use, um, myrtle essential oil in our uh, face oil, our face serum, uh, sorry. Um, so we do try to find a way around that. Um, and although we only have 10 products at this moment, um, I'm almost positive that at some point this year, when we do introduce uh, new products to our line, they will have that ode to the plants that, you know, uh, I'm familiar with. And I know my mom is all too familiar with. So yeah, you know, it's exciting working in the kitchen and um, in our home lab and just seeing, you know, just seeing what we can put together and uh, what are the benefits and of this and that when we put it on our face and not just consume it. So it's, you know, we're always learning, we'll never stop learning. And I think that's what's exciting about um, this business, this company that we have. Um, yeah, so took the long way to answer your question. Yeah. You know, I, I love it because, you know, for all our viewers and listeners, I think the beauty of, of this podcast is me asking, what is your story? And everybody loves to hear story because we can resonate with that. And there are a lot of people that have come here to this country um, that, you know, my grandmother emigrated to Ellis Island back in the 20s um, on a boat, on a yeah. ship and, and all these wonderful stories. And and just her bringing uh, a fig, a branch, a sprig of a fig tree and the memories of as a little girl just smelling that and picking when it was ripe, these figs and, and just uh, this, the, the sensory modes are, are still, you know, and that kind of brings you back to your childhood. And people love to hear that story. And, and I, and I also, I'm just wondering, what do you see that is trending with clean products when it comes to, you did mention, I like, because we're always on the go. That's just the way the American lifestyle is. You're always rushing and going that you could use one product for so many different things. Um, and, and that's what you mentioned. I don't know if it's the bomb or something, or, you know, even 
I don't see why you can't put it on your hair if you're putting yeah, right. it on your skin. Yeah, right. So we, when we created these products, we did keep, you know, uh, one part of the body in mind as the focal point, you know, for, for example, our face serum, which I mentioned uh, a minute ago, when we crafted that, you know, it was what benefits the, you know, the skin um, for not just the select few, diff- you know, skin types, but uh, a wide range. So just about anybody could use this sensitive skin, dry skin, dry and oily skin, uh, acne prone skin. Um, and I guess, you know, that's a good point is why not? If you can use it for your skin, you can use it for your hair. Um, and my my answer to that is it doesn't hurt to try, you know, put a small amount and try it out on your hair. If you react well to it, why not continue it if you see some sort of positive changes? I mean, it is all natural. Uh, we don't use any uh, artificial preservatives or uh, chemical synthetic ingredients. Um, uh, uh, any sort of sulfates, what have you. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, a, a new thing is getting introduced every day that, you know, I, I didn't h- hear about previously the day before. So um, we are ingredient list. I mean, anybody could go on our website and check out all of our stuff, each and every one of our products. We're very transparent about what we use and um, each of our creations. Try to keep our list a simple, straight to the point. Um, all natural, even our carrier oil, carrier oils, excuse me. Uh, we try to keep them, you know, clean, um, and stuff that doesn't irritate the face. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you can use it for your hair. You can use it for, um, for example, our lip balm, our blue tansy lip balm is probably one of my favorite lip balms. It was my first thing that I made, uh, on my own. And then my mom sort of joined in and we sort of tweaked the, um, uh, the the recipe or the ingredient list uh, to make it what it is today. That if I have some sort of uh, dryness on my face or uh, for example, just what happened to me, I was dealing with this past week, it was a nasty cold and the amount of tissues I went through is insane. And uh, as you can imagine, it was all red here. Um, and I used a lip balm, uh, you know, you make sure not to double dip and all that. Uh, I used that lip balm all over, uh, after, at the end of the day, when I washed my face, I was ready to go to sleep before, you know, it, my face is, you know, I mean, it's still not perfect. I mean, I'm, you know, I still have a little bit of dryness here, but, um, for the damage I I've done to it, uh, with the tissues, I mean, pretty miraculous how, you know, I, I, swung back, you know, to my old self. So, um, yes, you can use, um, any of these products, um, if you want to experiment yourself, but my suggestion is to just do a sample, you know, sample test first, see how you, you, different parts of your body react to it first, the spot test. Um, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, it's interesting because I, I'm always the, the person thinking, okay, well, here's this all natural product. Let me try some on my hair or if it's just for lips. Well, it has to be good for the skin too. Or, um, And I've always had positive responses because our skin thrives on what Mother Earth provides. Yeah, um, right. And so your mom at, or you know your family, um, obviously, I guess you and your mom are a dream team there just having this vision. Uh, but how are your other family members? Um, are they on board with this? Um, how are they reacting with all natural, clean? Um, I know I'm always trying not to push it on people, but just creating awareness. So thankfully, we're very fortunate to have uh, family and loved ones who are very supportive of, uh, supportive of this and have actually started to incorporate this um, mindset into their lifestyle, because it is, I mean, I say we're a skincare brand, but really, um, it's sort of a lifestyle brand. I mean, again, I know that we only have a small, uh, selection of products, but, you know, eventually one day, I mean, who knows what we'll end up selling, maybe expand that into, you know, kitchen cleaners and stuff. I mean, I have no idea. So, um, but, we're very thankful and fortunate to have uh, family members and a support team that not only um, is supportive of us doing this, but uh, is also a big help too. I mean, you know, we give this stuff out um, and we, 
we're open for feedback and it's without, you know, without our family, we wouldn't be able to do that and to know if the blue tansy lip balm is working any, you know, so, Mm -hmm. um, yes. So we're very fortunate and thankful for that. So where do you guys see each other? Like with this business, what is your vision going forward? Um, with you? Yeah, good question. So we do have, like any business, we have a rough uh, outline of where we'd like to take this. Um, but I try not to plan too much, both of us, both my mom and I, just because the universe always has its own uh, plans uh, in mind for us. And um, not to be disappointed, but to be open minded and receptive of that. So when the, you know, when the time comes and a great opportunity arrives at our doorstep, I'm not closed minded and saying, hmm, this is not really what I had envisioned for us. And uh, I'm going to say no to this and uh, be left with absolutely nothing. You know, that would, that would stink. Mm-hmm. So um, we, we would like to uh, keep our skincare, uh, pro- like a basic skincare line uh, available for the public uh, with a few more uh, additives to that uh, or additions to that. Um, and at some point this year, again, hopefully we can add to that uh, product line list for skincare. Um, we make like I hinted at earlier, we do make a, a wide variety of products at home for us to use. Uh, so I think maybe it's it's good to mention that all of the products that I am uh, sharing with you right now during this uh, during this chat is their products that we use at home uh, in private at all times. Our lip balms, our aroma oils, you know, we stopped using perfumes a long time ago. Our aroma oils, our um, soap bars, soap bars are at every sink in this house. Uh, and we give them out. And, uh, you know, when we travel, we, we take that little container and we put them in there too. You know, they, no, nothing gets left behind. Um, our face oils, that's the only thing I use. Uh, we're pretty minimal. I will say that we're pretty minimal with uh, self-care. We do the basics and we try not to exceed all that. So we're very low maintenance crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, And our body creams are at every uh, door at the house prior to leaving. We have also a sample size to take in our car. So, um, you know, just because we do so much more outside of skincare at home, um, you know, I'm very much open to the idea of extending the, you know, the company's focal point from strictly skincare to uh, extending that to other stuff, you know, Mm -hmm. maybe sense maybe you know these are all things that we do at home so not maybe if it makes sense do that too so again we're playing we're we're at the expert uh uh, experimental phase right now so we're trying to see uh what works what people like what people don't like we're always receptive to feedback um uh you know so yeah i mean that's kind of where we're at right now um at a good place and uh you know, yeah, very, very exciting to see what, what's next for us. That is exciting. And I love that you're just so open-minded and not so structured to say, well, in two years, I'm going to be doing this. Or in five years, we see the company because you just never know where it's going to take you. I, you know, you just don't never know. Right. I mean, it is, you know, in a, in a way it is, good to have some sort of structure, you know, especially for people who have put their whole lives into a company. Uh, They're determined to see that they get some sort of profit back. Um, To that, I can't, you know, fault anyone who who thinks like that, but, or plans like that, I should say. Um, But for us more so where it's, I won't say that, you know, of course we'd like to see that um, our, or creations that we're putting out there uh, have some sort of positive uh, reaction. And, you know, maybe we can make some sales. That would be nice too. Uh, But it's more so to see, you know, and to sort of share our passion for what we're doing with people. Um, 10 years ago, people weren't as interested in this stuff as they are today. You know, more and more as the years go by, do I hear uh, more of a discourse available for people to chat about um, their move to um, more natural, a more natural lifestyle, you know, not strictly skincare, but, you know, it sort of expands outwards of that. So um, that's why I am 
I'm not trying to plan too much, you know, in three years, we need to have X done with, you know, seeing that profit return and, you know, um, which is great, by the way, you know, is needed technically in, um, in this world that we live in. But um, yeah, again, more than anything, we're just, you know, uh, thanks for anybody coming to check us out. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, if you want to comment, we're going to comment right back and engage in the conversation. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to share any sort of tips or things that you grew up with, uh, we are always learning, always learning. I mean, in Uber drivers, we, uh, Uber drivers and Ubers, uh, we, we, you know, yeah. we have like conversations with people where we're learning, oh, you know, when I grew up, you know, out of nowhere, uh, I grew up and I, you know, use this, 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 but my mom made me uh, when I had X ailment and, you know, take a mental note of that. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so we're always learning. So if anybody wants to stop by our Instagram or shoot us an email, um, please feel free to do that. And we'd be happy to join in on the convo. Well, that's the other question I, I was going to ask you. Um, are you in any local shops in New York on Long Island or um, how, you know, how can people find you? So we are currently working on getting into a few different uh, small shops, uh, no large retailers yet. I mean, if, you know, the opportunity presents itself, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, at the time being, uh, probably the most efficient way to reach us and to check us out is online uh, through our website. Uh, it's just, you know, www.asarastudio.com, uh, which is also linked in our bio of our Instagram, which is, again, our handle is Astara Studio. Um, and our email is Astara Studio. Everything is Astara Studio at gmail.com. Um, so, you know... When in doubt, just feel free to reach out to us at uh, either Instagram or our website. Or we have a contact page. Um, for now, uh, at this at the moment of this recording, the most efficient way to reach us, I'll just put this out there again, is our yeah. website. Um, but we are currently working on getting uh, into a few local stores here in New York State um, and hopefully any other opportunities that arise. That's That's wonderful. And I... Also, I forgot to ask you, most importantly, also was, uh, how did you come up with your name? Okay, so we, the, the name was quite difficult because, um, I mean, it's, you know, it's the name of your company and what, what you know, what, what do you go with? Do you go with something plain and simple or do you go with something that has some sort of meaning to it? And um, I... My mom and I, we, we sort of crafted, we went through a whole, it was like a whole whirlwind experience trying to figure out what we're going to name this company. And uh, we decided on Estara, E-S-T-A-R-A, -A, uh, as an ode to the goddess Ostara, O-S-T-A-R-A, -A, um, sometimes spelled uh, E-O-S-T-R-E. -E. And uh, she's the Germanic goddess of the spring um which is probably our, our, our favorite season and it's just when we start growing uh we we have a garden um it's when we start growing our you know our vegetables planting our little seedlings uh getting the land ready for uh, you know the, the summer and um we love gardening uh we love the spring we love all the animals that come out after you know the winter time which you know, I can't knock the winter. The winter has its own uh, positives. You know, everybody likes to say, oh, I can't wait for the winter to end. I mean, although I'm now a fan of the cold, um, without the winter, you know, we wouldn't have a luscious summer, uh, especially here in New York State, a nice, healthy, uh, green, uh, green grass and the trees. I mean, we have quite a beautiful... Um, if you're into nature, I mean, New York is definitely somewhere where I would visit either Long Island where we're from or upstate, you know, what have you. But um, that's how we came to Estara. Uh, mm -hmm. And Ostara was taken. And plus, we put our own little spin on it with the E. So we made it a little extra special. But, um, you know, the, the start of spring is right around the corner. So, uh, you know. Yeah. Light up a little incense, you know, uh, you know, as a thanks for not only you know, creating this company, but for the start of spring, which it does help we find, uh, for growing our little seedlings. So, which we do have to get on by the way. <laughs> I'm, I love your share. And I always love to hear about 
behind the scenes, the creation of the business, your passion behind it, because I feel that if you have a passion and drive and motivation from your heart, you will always, it will come back um, to you. And that is a very successful, positive experience. I mean, love your energy. When I met your mom at the trade show, just love both of your energy. Um, and I'm excited to see how this is going to roll out and how your business will grow and, and be nurtured by so many people that want healthy, natural products to put on their skin. So it was such a pleasure having you on my show. And I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to be on Keep It Dirty. Oh, thank you so much. The, uh, the, the pleasure was mine. Thank you so much for having me. Um, <clears throat> feel free to check us out, everyone, at, again, astarastudio.com. Our Instagram handle is uh, astarastudio. Um, just stop on by. You know, a follow would be nice and not a big deal if you can't. But uh, if you have a comment or something to leave under any of our posts or even a DM, we are more than open to uh, reciprocating in that conversation uh, and I will be at some point in the near future uh, starting to add to our website's blog, um, which I've been meaning to do so. So that is our my New Year's resolution uh, to open that discourse up uh, on our website. So, yes, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm very grateful. I'm sure my mom is, too, somewhere around here. <laughs> um, and, yes, very excited to see what, what happens, what, what, what the future has in store for us. And again, for everyone that's listening, remember to ground with Mother Earth, get out there and keep it dirty. Take care, everybody, and have a great day.